We're halfway through the first week of high school football practice in the state. Here at News 13, from now into the start of the season, we'll have a preview from each team in our area. For today's 21 teams and 21 day stop, we check in on the Bozeman Bucks. Taking my line out to eat. I'm taking my line somewhere to show them that I appreciate them for blogging for me that night. Following a season in which Bozeman football was the final Bay County team standing in postseason play and also successful in winning their first playoff game in program history, the Bucks are heading into the 2021 season with a full head of steam. A large part of their anticipation for another postseason push, the big men in the trenches on the offense and defensive side of the ball. Not to suit our own horn, but we got some crazy linemen. They just put in the work since freshman year. Even like the players last year who just like, we're like our weakest links, iron sharper and iron, so they just gotten better and better and better. Running back Lewis Louder will be spending his first season in the backfield for the Bucks after transferring to Bozeman this summer, and he may possibly be his offensive line's biggest fan. Man, they at least about 6'2", 300 pounds, can move, can block, run. I mean, that's a great line. That's my line, great line. Heading into his fourth season leading the Bucks, head coach Jason Griffin says he's very impressed with his latest bunch and says they may be his most talented team yet. I really feel like this group has the has enough talent. Uh, they have, they definitely, this crew will work. I mean, these guys are hardworking kids, they're tough kids. So I feel like we have all the ingredients to, to make this team successful. Uh, it's just a matter of those guys going out and doing it. In the unusual 2020 season that was struck by the pandemic, 1A Bozeman was paired against 6A Mosley, 5A Arnold, and 4A Bay in North Bay Haven to reduce travel. So their 2021 schedule will look a little more balanced. You know, we're not playing those bigger schools anymore. You know, they had 80 people, we had 30. So we got a better chance against schools in our league. And even last year, playing the bigger schools was the best part about it because it's more competition, more fun. But the Bucks still have multiple teams that made the playoffs last season on their upcoming schedule, hoping the tough competition will have them prepared to make history in the postseason once again. I wanted to have our, our schedules more, you know, very competitive, and I wanted to play against teams that we need to beat to, 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 to get to the playoffs and, and beyond. So uh, our schedule is a little different this year, but uh, it, it's still very tough, and I expect our guys to, uh, to rise to the challenge. Bozeman will open their season in just over two weeks as they host St. John Paul II out of Tallahassee on August 20th. And that's all we have now for sports. Stick around for one final look at our forecast.